everybody, thanks for tuning in for another video. And in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about a feature in Thinkorswim that not a lot of people use. And I feel like not a lot of people use this feature because not a lot of people know about it. And it's a great tool that I use, and I use this to go back and back test different stocks. And with this feature, you could use you could use any stock, and you could go back to any time, any day, any minute, any second, and relive that moment. You could go back and buy it, and then you could fast forward and sell it in the future, whenever you like, any day that it's, that's happened before in the past. So to use this feature, you're going to need a Thinkorswim. You're going to need a TD Ameritrade account, and you're going to need to have Thinkorswim downloaded. And you can't use a paper trade account on Thinkorswim for this feature. You have to have a real live trading account. And I'm going to leave links in the description below to open up a new account if you guys don't have an account or um, even to just download Thinkorswim. I'll have a link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into Thinkorswim, and I will show you the program. So now that we're in Thinkorswim, we're going to go to use On Demand, which is in the top right of this platform. You hit On Demand, and now we are in a stim simulated account. We're in a virtual account, and to start, they give us 100000 in option buying power and 200000 in stock buying power. And you could always reset the account up here in the top right. Just go to Reset Account. And what's cool about this is we can go back. So here's the calendar up here to we're in July. We're July 6th right now in 2018. And it's March 30th, 2019 in, in real time right now. But we're in, we're in the, we're in the past. We're back testing July 6th of 2018 at 9:33 a.m. So three minutes after the market opened. And what's cool is now we could go buy, let's say a thousand Apple shares, right? And now we could go, instead of 9.30, we could go to, let's say, 11.30. So we could fast forward two hours. Let's go 11.30. Now we have a we have 1,000 Apple shares at 9.30. So we bought right over here and let it buffer. And we can now sell our 1,000 shares and see how much money we could have made. Maybe this is a different strategy. We wanted to go back and test. So we could see how much we're up right now. We're up 1400 bucks, and we could go sell these 1,000 shares. And let's say I want to fast forward to the next day. I can go and fast forward. And I'm an options trader, so what's cool about this is you could actually trade options. So you could go to the options chain. You could go down here, and let's say... So now we know what happens with Apple because this was in July almost a year ago. And let's say we wanted to go test maybe buying Apple calls before their rally in September. So now we could go buy maybe let's say September 21st, go to the calls and we could go buy calls, we could go buy 10 calls. So 10 calls at $5.15 cost us 5,000 bucks. So now we could go fast forward to let's say September, September 5th. So we fast forward two and a half months, three months. And we could go see how much now our calls are, how much they've made us. It's pre-buffering up here. When it says on demand, that's when everything's loaded. The prices will change. The quotes will all be live. They will all change. So now it's live. Those contracts we bought for five bucks are now thirty-two bucks. So five thousand dollars turned us into twenty-seven thousand profit. So you could just go back now to any time, any day. I'm gonna reset my account right now. Any time, any day in the past, any second and test out different things. So let's say you wanted to maybe buy 100 shares of Apple this day. Even though we know that it came up, we just want to test to see how much money we could have made. We can now see that this happened at 10.30 a.m. And we could go to this day at 10.30 a.m. and fast forward three hours and see how much we would have made. And what's cool about this is if you, I don't know how long it's for, but it's March 30th. 2019 right now if I wanted to go back on the weekend and test you know see what happened this week and test what has worked this week and maybe didn't that didn't work two months ago I can go back I could go to time and sales and you could actually see the time and sales and level two of the previous week's activity this doesn't even have to be for Apple you could use any stock so let's say Netflix you go to Netflix let it buffer 
11.35 a.m. And now you'll see live trading ticks on the time at sales. You'll see the level two. So if you want to see what happens when Netflix maybe reacted to a big support or resistance level, you could open the time at sales. You can see the level two and you can see the types of prints that come in. And you could see how different levels react to different things. 